Hello, this is Yvonne Duranier, Chair of the Ecosystem Workgroup of the Pacific Fishery Management Council. This presentation is being recorded on Tuesday, September 7th, and identifies new updates to the draft fishery ecosystem plan. The Council is scheduled to consider this issue on Monday, September 13, 2021, under Agenda Item H1. This presentation will refer to a few documents that are available on the Council's website, and links to those documents will be shown at the bottom of your screen. The Council has been working on the Fishery Ecosystem Plan update for a few years now, and they adopted Chapter 1 with their goals and objectives for their work in the ecosystem in March 2020. They also adopted Chapter 2, a short chapter on managing ecosystem issues in the Council process itself, in March 2020. Chapter 3, which describes the physical, biological, social, and economic environment, is the longest chapter in the Fishery Ecosystem Plan. We submitted an initial draft of that in September 2020, updated and filled that draft out in March 2021, and then we polished it up some more for this September 2021 version. Chapter 4 is more about how all of those components of the environment interact with each other, and it came out as a draft in March 2021, with more writing and polishing for September 2021. Also in March of this year, we had presented an outline for Chapter 5 on ecosystem science in the Council process and are providing a polished draft of that for this September 2021 meeting. However, working through Chapter 5 on ecosystem science made us go back and think more about ecosystem issues in the Council process and whether we need to suggest some new or different on-ramps for ecosystem science. So the Ecosystem Workgroup will at least be discussing Chapter 2 at our meeting on Friday, September 10th, and we'll figure out whether we want to suggest some revisions to the Council's annual process for considering ecosystem science and ecosystem agenda items, and those would be in a supplemental report from the Ecosystem Workgroup. The short version of that process that I just laid out is that while we're happy to take comments on any part of the draft fishery ecosystem plan, if you want to be efficient about only commenting on the newest stuff, Chapter 5 is the only chapter that has not yet been vetted through the Council process, so the Council and the Ecosystem Workgroup most need comments on that. Chapter 5 begins by acknowledging that, although we're in initial stages on some work, we really have come quite a ways on bringing ecosystem science into the Council process since 2013. In addition to the development of the Annual Ecosystem Status Report, there's been work to bring ecosystem information into stock assessments and to think about what multi-species assessments might look like. There are also some newer ideas, like decision tables, to illustrate the suite of ecosystem effects on our stocks but those build on ideas that we're already using in the council process, like this stoplight table that we uh, use to consider the conditions for salmon in our annual ecosystem status report. Chapter five also discusses the scientific work that might support some of the challenges we've recently identified through the Climate and Communities Initiative and some of the ways that we can think across disciplines to better understand how the ecosystem works as a system and how those interacting components affect and change each other. As I mentioned earlier, working on Chapter 5 reminded us that we might want to recommend revisions to the Council's process on ecosystem agenda items, which are discussed in Chapter 2. If we do recommend changes, those will come in a supplemental report. The Council's annual process on ecosystem agenda items is in Section 2.1, and the Ecosystem Status Report is discussed in Section 2.3. So the Ecosystem Workgroup's comments for this meeting in a supplemental report will likely focus on those two sections of Chapter 2 shown on the screen. Our short-term work after the Council meeting will include two tasks. First, we've been working with the Council staff on a website version of an executive summary for the Fishery Ecosystem Plan. Viewers would see lots of beautiful pictures like this one and just a very few words like this example, accompanied by links to various sections of the Fishery Ecosystem Plan. Also, immediately after the Council meeting, we would modify this September version of the Fishery Ecosystem Plan to include any changes requested by the Council at this meeting 
and then that new version would go, would go out for public review, probably through the end of the calendar year. This public review process will give interested folks a last chance to look at the whole thing all at once. When you're building a document like this one, one piece at a time, it's helpful to have a chance to look at the whole thing in the end just to see how everything holds together. A little bit longer term for March 2022, we'll draft initial revisions to the Fisher Ecosystem Plan's appendix on ecosystem initiatives. The Council may have guidance for us on that under this Fisher Ecosystem Plan Agenda Item H1, but may also have some ideas to share under the Climate and Communities Initiative Agenda Item H2. We'll also be working on the draft standalone Council guidance document for other agencies working on projects in the California current ecosystem. You may recall that guidance appearing in Chapter 5 of the 2013 Fishery Ecosystem Plan. In March of this year, given all of the new work that's being considered in the ecosystem, like offshore wind and offshore aquaculture, the Council recommended pulling that guidance from the former Chapter 5 into a separate standalone document. The Ecosystem Workgroup will be discussing our supplemental reports on the Fishery Ecosystem Plan and other issues on Friday, September 10th. The Council will discuss Ecosystem Agenda items on Monday, September 13th. If you'd like to attend those webinar meetings, they can be reached through the link shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much for your time and attention.